I'm not a baker. I mean, I did it at GCSE Food Tech, but that was like 20 years ago. Made a biscuit in the 90s. <laughs> oh, wow, it's hard to peel a beetroot. I don't know what I was thinking. Shave a beetroot in your best white shirt. So I'm making a chocolate and beetroot cake. Oh, nice. Right? Who doesn't want beetroot in a chocolate cake? <laughs> <laughs> he ends up on the floor. <laughs> That's not, that was a joke and then it became real. Look how depressing this fridge is. <laughs> <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's house. <laughs> to make the candied beetroot, you leave them in there with the sugar and as they boil, they'll make like sweets. The cake I can smell, which is a good sign. It's quite fun after a while, isn't it? You relax into it. She pretended that she was no good. They look disgusting. Oh, no, this looks like scrambled egg. What's happened with that? Why is it lumpy? That looks minging. <laughs> so gross. It's all slopped off. Put these bits of candied beetroot on top. Try and cover it as much as I can. So disgusting. It looks like there's been an accident. The caramelization hasn't worked very well. Right. They should be quite crisp. Candied. Oh, OK. And they are a variety of different sizes, aren't they? I think that's excellent. Dude. Absolutely delicious. Looks hideous. It looks tastes bad. amazing. It looks bad. Well okay, done. Okay, good. Thank Thanks, you, Nick. guys. Thank you. Yeah, that went all right, didn't it? Yeah, it was a real roller coaster, that one, yes. wasn't it? It's a very old fashioned pudding. We used to have it in the 50s. <laughs> Whisk the sugar and egg yolks together in a bowl. Yolks, okay. So this is tricky, isn't it? This is separation. This is the bake off. I'm going to use my hand. I've seen people doing this on Bake Off. What a teacher watching the telly is. Line your back. Wait, is this downward dog? No, this is Pilates. It's double knee fold. And then you do this sort of thing. Is that for your stomach? Oh, God knows. It just passes the time. <laughs> Put a thin layer of jam over the top. Oh, f it's not set, the custard. This is a disaster. This is why this dessert was left in the 50s, because it's annoying. Let's try and not make a mess of this. Oh, they look quick. Ah, no. <laughs> I've had quite a lot of raw meringue, and I feel like I'm going to be sick. I like the look of this one. Whoops, it's very liquid, though. Ooh. Yeah, the custard's not set at all. Soup. We're making a biscuit, like, three and a half hours. You could just go to the shop and come back in three and a half hours, couldn't you? My aim is to do a Glastonbury sort of map. So I'm going to have a stage, I'm going to have some cows, I'm going to have some wellies, and I'm going to have me with a microphone. This is a bit of pink for my face. That's my skin tone. Sunburnt. <laughs> Quite big. A little bit smaller, I think. A little bit. This is my big pink face. <laughs> Started to look really weird, this. That's a bit of my leftover face, if you want that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I've now made this look exactly like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stick my eyes on. <laughs> this is what I feel like at Glastonbury. This is about day six. This is me on the way to the hospital on the way home. It's stark, it's bold. Um, whether I can even <laughs> see instantly whether that's you or not, I don't know. <laughs> The orange biscuit is really good. Yeah? It's crumbly. It's got a flavour to it. I think both your biscuits taste really nice. Design's pretty abstract, but it works. I think you've done a decent job. Thanks, guys. It's really hard. Like, when you watch Bake Off, people are really good at baking.